Lucky that I have an axe. <laughs> you cut it down. Easy. Welcome to West Coast Bushcrafters. Today we're gonna test out axes. You can say that, yes. Yeah. But we always carry an axe. Why do we do that? Well, we like to do bushcraft work with a big knife like this. You can cut down some small trees, you can split wood with it. But simply let's not forget how effective an axe really is. That's true. So uh, today we're gonna show you guys how we do with our four axes. Let's check out first some specifications. Let's do that. Okay, first axe of today is the Hulteforce Tracking Axe Ellie Schön, which means uh, Moose Lake. It's not Ellie Schön, it's Ogel Schön. It's uh, the smallest axe we have in our collection. What you can use it for is when you like carving spoons or something like that. Uh, you can use it just to get rid of the, the wood and prepare your work for fine carving. Make sure that you try to hit the axe uh, vertical and change the angle of the wood so you don't have to uh, hit the axe on the side. Uh, something else is that uh, when hitting with the axe make sure it's below your hands so you cannot cut your fingers. Another thing you can do with this axe is try to baton. We think at least that's not the, the best axe to split wood with it. But like nice. You can split wood at least. Well to be completely honest, this is not our favorite. We think it's too small. Um, we have knives that can perform, uh, do a better uh, job than this one. Uh, so, yeah, we do not recommend this one. Maybe we have not the experience of small axes like other people have. That can be. But uh, on the other side, it's quite beautiful. The next axe is uh, Hultafors Hult Ohm. It's uh, a little bit bigger, as you can see. It's the same weight on the axe head here, but with this one, 
I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut uh, smaller pieces. It's not that easy to have control with such a small knife, a small uh, axe, I mean. As you can see. can do it but it's not that easy with a hull on is it safety much easier to do uh, I feel that if you have longer handle then you have more control. Mm. Yeah, well, if you can, uh, if you're going to split this type of wood, I will not recommend this axe. And I will not stab like this. And cut because then I can uh, cut myself in the leg. So I will sit on my knees. Well, that would be a good cut. And then split. Uh, so, with bigger handle, better control. Uh, as you can see, we haven't brought uh, the hobo stove today. This is the. Norwegian uh, hobo stove, Espegard tripod uh, stove. Är det? Ja, var bra. Det är klart att man ska gå. Time goes fast when we're having fun. Oh yes, now it's. Uh... Time to put some uh, piece of meat on the barbecue and uh, I would say call it a day. Yeah. Let's continue next week. We have other duties in life besides uh, our West Coast bushcrafters. Yeah, that's right. And uh, But uh, we're not finished with the episode no. yet. But we'll continue next week. Yes. School. School. <laughs> The uh, mice corps is not ready yet, but uh, <laughs> the meat is. One week later, uh, have it ha anything happened uh, this last week? Oh yes, we got a fire ban! <laughs> <laughs> the municipality decided yesterday that it's not allowed to make any fire in the forest and I think they made the, the, the right, right decision. It's extremely dry, dry outside. <laughs> so no fire for the rest of the episode, No. but we still have to do some more tests. Yes. Okay, here we got uh, some branches from a uh, birch. If you want to modify it, make sure you put you move the axe away from you. So you do not cut in your leg. And we have, uh, if you want to make a point on this one, same again. Here is the leg. Move on the side. And of course you have a good knife to <laughs> do the rest.
done. Here we have a pretty big uh, log. Uh, now I'm gonna show you a technique how to split this one. Do you like this? Put it on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Wet stub. <laughs> well, as you can see, this one goes in the bloopers uh, 2023. Uh, I will try again. Well, now we tried the Grensforsbruk Hunter's Axe. As you can see here, it's a rounded to take off the skin of deers. And this is Jägares Yxa. Now we're gonna try Hulta Fors Hunter's Axe. And here, this one is completely flat. So it's a big difference actually. So when you have big logs, try this one. Okay, now we showed a couple techniques how to uh, cut with an axe, chop with an axe. We got one technique more, which we do not use ourselves, but it is safe. You put the wood between your legs, stand over it, and just aim. Like you can see, it's quite effective, and, uh, but when you miss, you are sure that you're not cutting your leg, but you have to sharpen your axe, and that's exactly what we're gonna do now. This axe is very sharp now. As you can see, we still have some marks of rust that we're gonna remove with some steel wool. After that, we're gonna oil in, and uh, we can do that even with the shaft. We're gonna oil it in with some uh, gun oil. Here we have the oil. Put some drops on the X. That should be enough. Try to remove all the rusty spots. Now the other side.
Now most of the rust is uh, removed, at least it's not getting worse. Let's, what do you think Chetel? That's enough isn't it? I think it looks great. That one looks good. Well this shaft looks really well. Uh, there is a, what you can do is oil it in as well with gun oil or with some other stuff. Uh, not necessary on this one I would say. But on the other end. We have the shaft, and this one we're gonna wax in with bee wax, which I have somewhere in my pants. There it is. I think it's normal uh, shoe bee wax. Yeah, Some fancy stuff. And this also helps to get it uh, more water uh, protected. This is the result. Nice oiled and waxed sheet. Perfect X. That's sharp. That's very sharp. Good thing I brought the saw. Oh yeah. Okay, Tim. Conclusion. Yes. Here you got your axis. Thank you. Shall I start or you start? You can start. Okay. About the axis. The Hulta Forge is uh, 0 0.5 kilograms uh, head. It's uh, the weight of the head. It's a little bit too small for uh, for me, I think. Gränsforsbruk, Jägarens yxa, The Hunter's Axe. This is abs my absolute fa favorite uh, axe. Easy to sharpen. Uh, 0 0.65 kilos. Something it's like. uh, good weight, easy to carry, uh, good grip. Well, it's, it's my favorite axe. <laughs> this is not my favorite axe. I don't think I will use this so much. That will I'll put aside. But this one, also the Hult, it's the Hult for uh, Hunter's X. I think it's just perfect. Quite heavy on the head. Perfect uh, size. It's it worked really well for me. Hopefully you got some good information on this video about how to use an X. Uh, safety, very important. How to sharpen an axe. <laughs> very sharp <laughs> on that one. And uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Adios. Wow.